Hi, my name's Matt Keogh. I'm the founder and managing director of WASP Rescue. WASP, or Warning Alarm for Stability Protection, is the world's first emergency stability monitoring device. And I've designed it to protect emergency service workers, whether the fire service or military, it can be used for many, many scenarios. For example, road traffic collisions, bridge collapses, storms, anything at all where the stability of the incident has been compromised. I've been a firefighter all my life with over 30 years service in Manchester. I've also been a very, very proud member of the United Kingdom International Search and Rescue Team and I've responded to hundreds and hundreds of collapsed buildings worldwide following natural and man-made disasters. It was during one of these incidents in Gujarat in India in 2001 where I identified the need for this piece of equipment. This particular incident we spent over seven hours tunnelling through a collapsed building to rescue a four-year-old and his mother and it really highlighted the dangers that emergency crews face when going through buildings to rescue people. On returning to the UK, I, I expressed to my seniors the dangers we're facing when we go in these buildings. I was then tasked with finding a piece of equipment that could give an early warning of uh, building stability compromise. There was nothing on the market, so I've designed it and built it, and now I'm selling it myself. The WASP is incredibly, incredibly easy to use. It will attach to any surface in any position. It detects movement and vibration, movement from 0 to 2.6 degrees and vibration from 0 to 100 hertz. It's been used on hundreds and hundreds of different types of incidents. It was used post-fire at Grenfell Tower for protecting emergency service workers during the search phase. It was used to monitor the columns under the Aston Expressway following the identification of a World War II bomb, the Taiwan earthquake. It was used on that. Hong Kong landslide, it was used in Bavaria, the huge gas explosion recently. It has been used anywhere where the stability of a certain part of a scenario can cause danger to emergency service workers or members of the public. Exporting has been hugely important to WASP. We are now exporting in just over two years to 17 countries. It would benefit any emergency service workers worldwide. I've just returned from Singapore where I trained the Singapore Civil Defence and also uh, I was in Delhi training the National Disaster Response Force. This piece of equipment will work in any country across the world. We provide single and double units. We provide continuous support and also training of the product. It's a huge honour just to be nominated for this award, Northern Pyros Award. To win it would be unbelievable. I'm a firefighter. I came up with this piece of kit to protect my colleagues. I didn't think for one minute it'd turn into a commercial business. And I didn't think for one minute would be exporting all the way across the world. To be recognised by the Northern Paros Awards would just add further credibility to the product. It's been a, an incredible journey so far. I can't believe I'm, I'm sat here doing a video on a piece of kit that's been used all over the world. I'm speaking to seven other countries as we speak. I've got trips to Croatia, Denmark and Vietnam in the next two months. I'm meeting three or four dealers from India in Dubai in two weeks' time at Intersect. The future for exporting is, is as far as I want to take this piece of equipment. I did want to hand me a fire tuner cut when I finished, but I'm working harder than ever and I will continue because this piece of kit will protect lives all the way across the world.